Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Mr3D. If you are a Blender user, you must already be familiar with Polyhaven. Polyhaven is a curated 3D assets library for public. Not only that, all of the assets are 100% free and CC02, meaning you can use them for any purpose without any restrictions. It provides useful high quality 3D assets to visual effects artists and game designers. To make things easier, the Polyhaven team have come up with an add-on that gives you faster access to any Polyhaven assets you like right inside of Blender. That means while you're working on your projects, you can simply bring all the assets into Blender from one single place. There are tons of HDRIs, textures, and 3D models of all kinds available right at your fingertips with this add-on. And not just that, you will also have immediate access to any newly made assets right inside of Blender. If you wanna check it out, the link is going to be in the description. With that being said, we're gonna dive into Blender and take a look at how it actually works. So with Blender simply open here, all you have to do is go over to Edit, Preferences, under Add-ons panel, click on Install and install the add-on that you have downloaded. Once you install it, just simply search for it, enable it and expand this menu and here you will see a warning. So the first step is to choose where you want your Polyhaven assets to be downloaded and stored. So if you go over to file paths, come all the way here under asset libraries, click on this plus icon, choose the location where you want your Polyhaven assets to be stored and then click on add asset library. Make sure to rename it exactly to Polyhaven. Once done, just save preferences and then you can see that this is now marked as tick. Now you can close your preferences. Also, I'm using my custom theme. It's a theme from my True Dark Themes Pack. If you are interested in getting it, I have linked it in the description. So to get started, all you have to do is drag your timeline all the way here, change it to Asset Browser. And here you have to change your asset library to Polyhaven. Now you will see a new Fetch Assets button popped up right here. So if you click on Fetch Assets, it's gonna download every single asset from polyhaven.com. If you're looking for HDRIs, textures only or models only, you can choose them here in the drop down menu. But right now I'm gonna download all of the assets and you can also use Blender while it's downloading assets. And if you at any point want to stop downloading assets, then you can click on this X icon to cancel the downloadings. But when you want to download again, then you can again do that and it will start downloading where you left off. Now I'm gonna download every single asset and will be back soon when it's finished downloading. Now every single asset is downloaded on my drive and here you can see that HDRIs, models and textures are separated into their collections. Let's just simply select an HDRI that you want to use and just click and drag into your viewport. Nothing changes right now. So all you have to do is go over to rendered view and here you will see your HDRI. Now by default, add-on downloads all of the assets at the lowest resolution possible. Under world properties panel, you will see a new panel of that specific HDRI. And you can see that it's 1K. And if you click on it, you can see that we have different resolutions from which we can choose. Let's say you want 4K. If you click on it, it's gonna start downloading the 4K version. It just took me a few seconds to download this. And as you can see, there's a check mark right next to the resolution. So that means it's downloaded and it's ready to use anytime you want to use this. And if you see a download icon, that means you have to download it and then use it on your projects. This is for the HDRIs and the same thing applies to the textures and models. So if I just simply delete the default cube, add a plane and go over to the textures category, choose any of the textures that I want to use. So. Let's say maybe I want this one. Just click and drag to the object to which you want to apply the material on. And here you can see that we have it. So if you go over to the material properties panel, you can see that we also have this panel right here. From here, you can also choose different resolutions. So for me, I'm gonna go with 4K right now. Let's just select it because it's already downloaded. And here you will see two different buttons. So the first one is fixed texture scale. So it will take a look at your model dimensions, compare it with these and then set the correct texture scale. So if you click on it, it's gonna fix it. Simply scale it up, then click on fixed texture scale. It's gonna make it like this. So this is how it works. If I do this again, just like that. And you can see that we have setup displacement button as well. And this is grayed out. That means we cannot use this while we are in EV. So we have to change it to cycles. And then we will go to material properties panel. And you can see that we can use this button now. 
So if you click on set displacement, it's gonna warn you that it's gonna enable experimental features which uses micro displacement. And you can also go over to the shader editor and play around with the materials and do whatever you want to do with this. We can also change materials with one single click just like this and you have this material right here. And you can see that it's using displacement. Again we can increase the resolution of this material to get more accurate displacement. And it's gonna take few seconds to download this material. It's now downloaded and you can see the quality is now very good. Also you can use this fixed texture scale as well and scale it down as well. The same thing applies to the models. If we go and select any of the models, let's say we want this table, we can click and drag and just gonna import this into viewport. And if you don't like these, because we are instancing this the collection from another blend file, so that's why. And you can go over to the empty settings and just scale it down all the way if you don't like it. Under object properties, from here you can choose different resolutions for that specific model. So I'm gonna go with 4K. And as you can see that the quality is way better now compared to the 1K version of the model. And if you want to make any changes to the model, you cannot do right now because you don't have any moods to choose from. The collection is instanced from another blend file. To edit this, all you have to do is press Ctrl A and choose make instances real. And now you can edit your model just like that. And you can have full control over the models. And you can fill up your scene with every single model that is available here. And this is gonna increase your productivity by a lot. Again, I'm gonna link it down in the description below for you to check it out. All of the assets worth thousands of dollars. So that's been it. Let me know what you guys think about this add-on in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Also share it with your friends. And if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.